As Canada sheds its winter coat, the landscape bursts into a symphony of colors, signaling the arrival of spring. It's a time when gardeners and nature enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the blooming of myriad flowers. Today, we'll explore the best flowers to plant in spring across Canada, transforming your garden into a palette of color and life. Hello, fellow green thumbs and flower enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel. I'm here in this stunning spring garden to guide you through the top flowers that will make your Canadian garden thrive this spring. Whether you're in the breezy east, the sunny west, or somewhere in between, we've got the perfect blooms for you. Spring in Canada is a time of renewal and growth. As the ground thaws and the days grow longer, it's the perfect opportunity to start planting. But with Canada's diverse climate, choosing the right flowers is key to a vibrant and successful garden. Let's start with the tulips. Plant tulip bulbs in the fall, about six, eight weeks before a hard frost is expected, at a depth of about three times the bulb's height. Provide regular watering during the growing season, especially in the absence of rain, but avoid overwatering. A favorite for their vibrant colors and variety, tulips are not just beautiful, they're Apply a balanced, slow-release bulb fertilizer at planting and when the leaves emerge in spring. Once the tulips have bloomed, deadhead the flowers, but leave the foliage until it dies back naturally to allow the bulb to store energy for the next year. Tulips are not just beautiful, they're also hard. They're also hardy and can withstand the chilly Canadian spring. Next on our list are daffodils. Plant daffodil bulbs in the fall, about two to four weeks before the ground freezes. This timing allows the bulbs to establish roots before the winter. Daffodils prefer well-drained soil. If you have heavy clay soil, improve drainage by adding organic matter like compost or aged manure. You can also create raised beds or add sand to improve soil texture. They thrive in a spot that receives at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. They can tolerate partial shade, but full sun encourages optimal blooming. They need regular watering while they're growing and blooming, 
especially in the absence of rain. However, avoid overwatering, as soggy soil can cause the bulbs to rot. Do not cut back the foliage until it has turned yellow and withered, which usually happens a few weeks after blooming. The leaves are essential for photosynthesis, helping the bulb store energy for the next year's growth. These resilient blooms not only signal the arrival of spring, but also add a burst of cheer with their bright yellow hues. If you're looking for something that can handle the unpredictable spring weather, pansies and hyacinths are your best bet. When planted together, pansies and hyacinths complement each other beautifully. The low-growing, colorful carpet of pansies contrasts splendidly with the taller, fragrant spikes of hyacinths, creating a multi-dimensional display. By planting these together, you can ensure a succession of blooms. While hyacinths begin to fade, the pansies can continue to flourish, extending the colorful display in your garden. Consider the color harmony between the two plants. For instance, purple hyacinths paired with yellow or white pansies can offer a striking contrast, while pink hyacinths with blue pansies can create a soothing color palette. crocuses, and primroses. For those eager to see early signs of spring, crocuses and primroses are the way to go.
These early bloomers can brighten up your garden even in cooler temperatures. The Lush Peonies and Lilacs As we move later into spring, peonies and lilacs begin to show their lush blooms and enchanting fragrances. Let's explore how to incorporate these into your garden for a late spring spectacle. Forget-me-nots and bleeding hearts. For those who love a touch of whimsy, forget-me-nots and bleeding hearts offer unique shapes and colors. Here's how to make these charm. As we wrap up our journey through Canada's best spring flowers, remember that each bloom is a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting, the joy of planting and nurturing these flowers is a rewarding experience that connects us all to the earth. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the vibrant world of spring gardening in Canada. May your gardens flourish and your hearts be as full as the blossoms that grace our land. Thank you for watching and God bless you all see you on my next video.